Okay. All right, so I'll go through sort of the fit and everything. Okay. How, how I think the harness should fit. <laughs> you know, some of it is a little subjective and some people are going to do it a little bit different. So mm -hmm. you're getting my thought of things. Uh, Like we talked about the saddle already a little bit, so it's just a little bit snug. And then we have the over girth, which is a little bit snug as well, but has a little bit more play in it so that it can move a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm looking at the height of the breast collar. And so I'm finding the point of the shoulder, mm -hmm. like where the bone is pretty much. Um, and then I'm gonna have at least two fingers above that for the breast collar to lay. If it starts going below there, it's, you know, on the bone, on the bone, yeah. or, and it becomes a lot more um, difficult for them to really pull. So I rather, if it's very little space here, that's when you can start looking into you using the empathy collars, the one that shape a little bit. Yeah. I'm not, if they have plenty of space, I'm not a fan of them because mm -hmm. they mess with the line of draft. Okay. Now, if they don't have the space, they're great because it means the horse can then ergonomically pull better. Mm -hmm. But they have ample space. Um, but if there is little space, I'd rather put it too high than too low. Their windpipe is really far in, so you're not going to be able to cut off um, like their airways or anything. Because that's what most people say. They're like, well, they can't breathe. It's like, no, it's so deep in. Yeah. that even if it's up here they're okay they're okay but i mean it can't sit up here because then mm. obviously they're not right. pulling with yeah. their chest anymore mm -hmm. so that's the one thing i look at uh, and then we have the breaching uh, when they're just standing still in the pair yep. i like to have about a hand like this okay. that means they can move easily in the carriage mm -hmm. but when it needs to be used it will you know the carriage won't be able to roll up so easily on them Okay. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Okay, so your differences are instead of having my tugs, you have this connector area. Yeah. And then um, if I'm ever going to use this as a single, I'm going to remove this piece and then clip on top. So basically, what you do is you remove, you open this one here. Yeah. And well, depending on what your system, like if you're getting a system, I would just put uh, by the quick releases that hook onto this one. Okay. Yep. I've seen them. Yeah. Just the loop itself. Yeah. Perfect. Then I have to change even less stuff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it afterwards and I thought, no, I'm not going to buy it too. Yeah. Right. harnesses because I'm mostly going to drive them together. And then the hip straps are nice when they kind of can lay a little bit on the highest points. Mm -hmm. Um, back here I'm trying to I don't want it too low like this one could almost go down maybe a little bit but she drove really well with it yesterday so I think we're just gonna leave it like that but okay you don't want it like if you starting that it starts riding up then it's too high yep and you don't want it as low as like down here so okay. just kind of it's with a heavy carriage you could and braking or going down a hill yeah, you yes. could actually push their hind legs out from under All right her. yes a little loose to me from what I'm normally so you're worn. also working with the shape of like these are pretty cr uh, stiff they're wide creepers, right oh okay so what I'm looking for is up here yeah like I can fit about a hand and it's okay all right it lays good in position you know underneath okay. so it's yeah. nice and comfortable so it's just how it's gonna look yeah it could maybe be one hole but with this style if it really starts cramping on them, it's not so comfortable. Always. Yeah, it's way is way wider. Yeah, yeah. Style and it. it's just because of the okay. how how these creepers are made. Okay. Um, when we take this off, we're going to disconnect this. Yep. And then we're going to undo this. Yep. And then, what other thing is making the two? So this one. Yeah. Of course, the girths. This one. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to have to undo the breaching strap. Here mm -hmm. and take the traces out of the. Uh, oh, there's a lot. Yeah. 
a lot different. Right. That's that's why I like. That's why you do it in one piece. That's why I just do it in one piece. But um, maybe I maybe I need to learn how to do that. Then you don't have to readjust it every time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Uh, Yes. I can see that. I can see that now. Okay. This one in the trace carrier. You may have trace carriers if you have a low line of breath. Because oh. if, if, if you if you drop a trace, it won't drop on the ground. It'll be right up there. Uh, oh, like and uh, normally you have like a keeper on the shaft, and it runs through the keeper. You, yeah, you can run it through the whole deck strap. Yes, some if, or if, over the whole deck strap. If some, mm -hmm. uh, if it, it depends on um, the line of draft. You always uh -huh. have to look like if the line of draft actually goes through the whole back strap, then yes, mm -hmm. you can secure it in. Mm -hmm. I would never do it on top of it mm -hmm. because what happens when they're in draft, you're actually pushing down, so you're mm -hmm. pushing down on board. Oh, right, but, yes. Um, but through it works because then you still have like a little bit underneath where it will give the space. Because ideally, when the horse is in draft, the breaching is isn't engaged, so right. the whole back strap is slack. Yes. And then sure. when the breaching right. yeah. goes in to work, Mm -hmm. then the trace would go a little bit slack, slack so yep. then they don't really interact. Okay. Um, okay. But like for these guys in your carriage, since your pull is low, mm -hmm. um, like these ones are going to make it a lot more difficult for them to accidentally step over. Oh, okay. Right. Um, we started with a little bit of adjustment yesterday from what I saw when I was driving, mm -hmm. uh, and it might be the day afterwards that I saw some other things that we're going to adjust, but we're just okay. going to, you know, work it through as we see but I think the weight of the carriage was nice with them it drove really nice it was okay. just that you know they were touching mm -hmm. um, and and just yeah your brake is not working on it okay but they they handled it fine I mean they're okay. used to the breaching yeah um, and then also just always be mindful of it slow so you just got to be aware of that when you drive and when situations comes up and that one just hangs there as well and then you grip your breast collar. That's my girl. And then you're gonna turn it. So, and just focus on getting the like. Imagine putting the saddle in place. The rest will come uh, fall into place. No. Yep. And then you just re run the breaching back. Stand. Okay, so this is feeling short right here. It's going to feel a little short. Okay. Because you got to run over the widest part of the butt for it to fall back, fall back into where okay. it uh, indents a little bit. Yep, got it. There you go. Got it. Okay, I see. Uh, it, it, it's harder with these ones to sit now I'm just looking to see how it looks. Okay, so the, the next thing I would do is put the girth through the... So you want to check her saddle. Make sure okay. the saddle lays in a good place. You okay, so you should go on the inside yep, of yep. this. Yep, okay. lay it in place. And then, yes, you do the martingale through the girth. Okay. Martingale for the pair uh -huh. is... Um, so with that when they back up, especially, the pole won't... Uh, very often, the pole sometimes lifts the breast collar up uh -huh. so the martingale prevents it from being picked up in a single it doesn't do as much but in the pair it's very important so this one goes through here yep okay this has got a twist in it here no i think that feels pretty good okay yeah. good there you go Okay. Probably make that one one looser. One looser. Okay. So it just has a little bit more play. Because I think as a rule of thumb, you don't want that ball skirt to be tighter than the girl. Correct. You just yeah. want it yeah. just a little bit looser. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that looks good. And this, you, where do you hang this normally when you're moving them around? Through here or through down so here? So in the bottom okay. where you want to put it. Because that's where it's going to ultimately be. Yes. So we yep. just leave it there. And then it's your option if you want to lay the trace over the back or if you want to tuck it in. The it's kind of short for that 
here. So, so you can I'm, just tuck it in there. Okay. All right. I just did that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. And then, and then it's yeah. kind of short for that, so we just put it over. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so yeah, you're hooking up. One thing left here. thing is you start looking at the split ring. Um, you have two rings so usually the one that goes on top mm -hmm. when you run them forward is going to be the shorter one. So where does it make sense the shorter one goes because the one of them is going to go to this horse mm -hmm. and the other one is going to go to the other horse. The one that goes to the other horse needs to be longer. Exactly. That means that the short one is the one you run on the on outside. On this side. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So it's just a simple test to always check. Most reins are manufactured that way. So, but you don't have to see it. You always have to make sure that you check. Okay, so we have often have little things here on the yep. butt, so we don't have those yep. here. Those are usually the draft horse harnesses will have yeah. those. Or, or single. Yes, so did you double check now that you ended up with the right ring from the left side? Hold on. There you go. I always make it a practice. You do check every time. <laughs> okay. Well, and you'll notice the day you put them wrong, you'll uh -huh. really notice because you'll start pulling the horses into each other uh -huh. and they get really upset. <laughs> Okay, so once I, I do that and I leave it there, what do you, how, where do I put this? Like this? So what I, I, throw it over. Yep, what okay. I usually do is I just hang it here and make sure they can't step on it, but I, I just okay. hang it there. Okay. Yep. And then you've got your other horse that you got to do. Yep. And now you got to think the on which side this rain is going to go. So my short one's gonna go over there. Yep. So but also on which side do you wanna have the rain? When you go and pick the rain up. The outside. I'm not sure what you mean. So you wanna be on the other oh, side on the outside. because you wanna hang the rain on that side. <laughs> yep. Because if it's on the inside you, you won't can't reach. reach it. Oh yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. <clears throat> okay, this is the short one. But okay. I'm gonna recheck it one more time, just because. The short one. Yeah, this one's go. going through here. And I'm when it's synthetic reins, I'm I'm really bad at putting them on the ground. Me Some too. people say to never do it. Right. I just make sure that the horses don't step on them. I just find I'm a lot more efficient and more accurate of not making mistakes. <laughs> but it's just one of those things to be aware of what's safety and what's not. Mm -hmm. and We don't have to leave the halters on here, right? That way you've got something to bring your head over. Okay. 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 So the gullet strap. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. This one. Yeah. It's going to come from, it sits here. Oh, okay. And yeah. then it threads through here. The reason we have this, especially Wait, in, it, through the ring or through this, through, through the, yeah, the, that through, yeah. yeah. The reason we have this is um, 
it makes it a lot harder for them to get their bridles off. Right. So in a pair mm -hmm. where they can rub on each other, mm -hmm. which Sue has a little bit that she kind of wants to do sometimes, mm -hmm. it just makes it a lot more difficult for them to rub the bridle off. Okay. Very yeah. important. To me, that is too tight. So I'm going to show you that this is, um, yeah, it's kind of borderline where I'm comfortable. Because uh -huh. um, if she decides to rub, like, yeah, it will, it will stop, so that's okay. good. Okay. But you never want to make a pair too loose. Okay, like, right. Because, like, if, if she takes her bridle off, We're screwed. you're in, you're in big trouble. Screwed. Yeah. So it's the same there. Like, I don't want to choke them, mm -hmm. but I also don't want to make it too loose to be nice because it will, in the pair, that can really hurt you in the end. Do you then, have a, do you like to put it on the, on the So oh, I'm going to okay. explain these holes okay. because I made a couple more after driving them yesterday in these okay. reins. So you notice how she has a big ring here. Yes. That means the rein becomes technically longer because okay. you add this distance to the ring. Okay. Whereas on her bit, where we're going to put it, it goes directly to the bit, which okay. compared to her rein, it's going to make it shorter. Okay. Uh, we need to give her a little bit less rain and give Honey a little bit more rain. So we put her. So on we're going to put her on the tightest. Okay. And that's also something we're going to play around with so that you know exactly which holes when it's yep. going to end up being. And it's okay to just leave her with the yes. what, we, what we can do is we can connect it to the under ring. Yeah. The other ring and then oh, okay. if she tries to go somewhere usually they're a little bit contained. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, I'm behind you. You know I'm behind you. Yeah, she okay. started to walk out with Maddie. And then we are gonna She's open the one. chain up because that's gonna make it a lot easier Hi. for you. Yeah. You are a little shorter. <laughs> She's a little easier. She's only an inch shorter. Okay, so this is going to go here. Yep. And this goes up here. And I'm going to put it on that one, same one, and then we'll check and see if it's going to be yep. tight enough. I love that it has that thing under the chip. Mine, none of mine. None and of you, mine. Can, you can yeah. take basically They're any not strap. Very expensive. Like just a little leather strap or even a uh -huh. string or something. A dog collar will do. Okay. Cat, yeah, cat collar, whatever you find. Yeah. That little spur strap. It has to be long enough and not too long. Okay. Now, then, so you're we're going to have to help me with this. Yep. How tight so, do you want to adjust it? Uh, yep, you got the chain right, but it's not twisted. So just put it with one hanging to begin with. Okay. So we're not really struggling to put it on. It's fairly loose. Yep. And then I'm looking for, from the mouth to okay. this shank, yes. I'm looking for it to become like a 45 oh, degree. Oh, it's touching. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Yep. So that's good. Yep. Okay. And then so we might that, look at it that's when we're driving. Her, if when she's we're driving, driving if horse. She, that, okay, that's, that's her cross okay, ring. Cross, cross ring. Cross chat. Thank you for That's such a you know, different concept. Yes. Okay. And... When we're looking at this bit, the rough cheek is pretty much the same as the slot. Yes. So we're just going to make it easy and put it in the slot. In the slot. From here. Yep. Okay. How, how far back? So she was the one that needed more rain. So yes. we're going to try her in the first hole today. All the way up here? Yep. Okay. And then we might make adjustment if needed. Because she was also the one that hangs back a little bit, so yep. we want to give her a little bit more space. A little more freedom. Yeah. Okay. So I have to remember this because I want to do the same thing when we get them yeah. over there. Yeah, and we yes. can also okay. write write everything down yep. so that we have everything in paper for when you're ready okay. to go home so as well. I, I would leave it like this. Do you think that's too loose? I think it's a little loose. So you would want would, it to go one tight. Because it's kind of flopping a little bit, so that tells me that there is more space to still be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You can still get fingers yep, in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's not really sitting up in here. It's yeah. kind of. Okay. All right. Oh, good so, good, good girl. Okay. 
So are we ready? I think we're ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, for the hitching, mm -hmm. what is your system at home? So I can help you work. So what we do normally at home, of course we're on a single, mm -hmm. right, is uh, we walk the horses out in front of the shafts. Yeah. Debbie heads the horse. Yeah. I bring the shafts up and bring them in through the loops. Yep, yep. That's, I mean, but and you, you have a header and... Always. Okay, yep. I never drive alone. Yep, uh, which is very smart. And then when you're doing the pair, is your goal now also to just have with Debbie or to have one more person? I need to be able to do it with just Debbie and okay. I just because nope. I can't always have three. Nope, that's, that's why yeah, I'm that's asking because yep. that's why what the routine we're going to figure out now. Okay, great. So now if you were driving a four, you'd need two grooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Lee Brooks on. Uh, that's okay. To take them over yep, there? Yep, that's fine. Okay. And if, that, if that's how you're going to do it at home. Yeah. But I'm going to have you head today. Okay, sure. Yeah. Because okay. you guys need to work on this together. Right, okay. How it's going to be there. Okay. Yeah. So 